coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The Denry Infant School has been reconstructed under the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project. The initiative is aimed at building climate resilient communities across St. Lucia. Mary Flavia, principal of the Denry Infant School, explained that the school had been experiencing termite issues as well as flooding and leaks. Flavia explained that an improved elevated structure, including a concrete roof, a lobby, a staff room, and additional washrooms, has been constructed to ensure that the Denry Infant School is more resilient and accommodating. The principal expressed gratitude to the government of St. Lucia for modernizing the Denry Infant School. Under the DVRP, drainage works has also been done to alleviate flooding in the vicinity of the Denry Infant School. The Department of Health and Wellness is advising the public, more specifically pregnant women, about the importance of serology testing during pregnancy. Serology testing involves taking a blood sample to test for HIV, syphilis, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HTLV 1 and 2. All pregnant women must have serology testing done twice during pregnancy, within the first three months and within the last three months. Senior Medical Officer for Infectious Diseases, Dr. Gail Kajada, says pregnant women can get these tests free of charge at the Ezra Long Laboratory at Victoria Hospital. Dr. Gajada says that the goal is to have healthy mothers and healthy babies. Invest St. Lucia ISL is embarking on a land rationalization plan, which according to ISL's Chief Executive Officer, Roderick Sherry, is in the advanced stages. He explained that assessments have pointed to areas where individuals have been squatting on lands for decades. The issue of squatting, according to the CEO, has existed for several decades. Cherry highlighted ISL's aim to ensure that every St. Lucian is able to afford and own a piece of land. He explained that priority will be given to those who have been inhabiting the land for lengthy periods of time at very accessible rates. The CEO explained the process when deciding upon a fair price for both ISL and squatters. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.